Hi, this is the Duke Sip from Mazda Speed Forums. I'm going to show you my radar detector integration to my stock display and steering wheel controls. So this is a 2012 Mazda Speed 3 uh, with the tech package. Um, we have the CAN bus triple in my glove box here. And I haven't hardwired it in yet, but I have the Whistler Pro 3600 radar detector sitting here on my passenger seat uh, all I need to do is hardwire this in and stick this little control box in the glove box in there and we're good to go so the CAN bus triple has a wire connected to the Whistler central control unit here and I'm going to show you how this all works so uh, let's start up the car we'll just turn the electronics on for now so here the CAN bus triple uh, default behavior you start up your car, That's, uh, you can see the uh, AFR and EGT, uh, the car is not running right now so I guess these are just some default uh, numbers that come up here. So let's see if I can turn off the AC so we don't get any wind. And uh, So while it's displaying that you can change your, change your volume controls and that all overrides anything you need to do in your car um, it'll show up on the screen and switch back to uh, the statistics you want to see so let's just turn the volume all the way off here um, what I'm gonna do now actually I'll show you one of the other things that is kinda cool in here uh, you can actually turn off the uh, the CAN bus triple completely so it works in kind of like a bypass or a pass-through mode so it'll just display whatever uh, it should be displayed on there as, as though it wasn't even there. So if you need to take this into a dealership and kind of hide it from them, um, they won't even know anything's there. And you turn it back on, you just hold down the back button and push the right button here. We'll see if we can get this all in one shot. And then you have it turned back on and now you're back into this mode again. Alright, so what I'm going to do, actually let's, uh, let's start the car for real just so you can see these numbers changing as well I'll let it start up here alright so here you have the AFR and the EGT you can step on the gas a little bit and get those numbers to change so you get an idea what that looks like alright so I've got two modes for my radar detector here uh, the first mode is what we're in now this is alert mode so basically uh, the the, the uh, CAN bus triple displays whatever it's supposed to display unless there's some kind of alert on the radar detector like like somebody hits you with radar or laser so how I'm going to simulate that for now I'm actually just going to plug in the radar detector and that's going to kind of simulate uh, some kind of alert happening we're not on the home screen uh, for now and maybe when I get my dad when I get this hardwired in I'll get some dash cam footage of some live uh, tags from the police but for now let's just uh, We'll plug this in and I'll show on the display here what happens. Alright, starting up. X band. K band. K A band. Laser. Hello, fasten seat belt. Alright, so now that it's, it's started up and it's in the home screen, we automatically filter that out and show whatever the CAN bus triple wants to show. Now what I did do is I figure if there's some alert happening, you might want to hit the quiet button. So if there is an alert, you can actually hit the back button on the uh, steering wheel and it'll, it'll mute the, uh, the output from the radar detector. But um, I have a whole other mode we can go into and what we do is we hold down back, let's see if we can get this on here, hold down back and hit down. Alright, so now we're in radar detector mode where it constantly displays whatever the radar detector wants to show you. So the, the first character is the direction and I don't have the GPS add-on so uh, it's not going to tell me what direction I'm going. You got the, uh, the outside temperature or in this case the inside temperature. It's getting a little hot in here and it's in highway mode for the H. Now this is the same thing as the CAN bus triple. If I want to adjust the volume on my stereo that overrides that overrides the radar detector output temporarily um, but the other cool thing about when you're in this mode is now you have complete control of the radar detector all four buttons that you normally have are accessible from the steering wheel so I can go ahead let's see 
the left button is for power. So now it wants to power off, but we'll, we'll just cancel that because we don't want to do that right now. Uh, the up button, up uh, is the city button, so we can change city. city. City one. City one. And you know, as you change modes, that gets reflected on the uh, the right characters there. I'll tell you what mode you're in. We'll switch to city two. City two. And then back to highway. All right. So now I'm back to highway mode. Uh, we have the quiet button this is down. Auto quiet. All right, and we'll just turn that off. And then we have the uh, the dark button. Now the dark button doesn't do much. Let's see, that's the right button. Dim. Dimmer. Dark. So that isn't actually going to do anything because the brightness of the display is, of course, uh, controlled by the car, however bright you have your instrument cluster and your controls displayed. But you can hold it down to, uh, to change what shows on the screen, just like uh, the real unit has. So we'll hold that down a little bit. All right, so now it scrolls through. You got your voltage. Um, I think this is supposed to be the time or something if you have the GPS add-on which I do not have yet and then it goes back to your normal screen um, that's pretty much it again you know the uh, whatever you need to do in your car overrides that temporarily and if you want to switch back again to just alert mode uh, we just go back to the steering wheel we hold down back and down and the screen needs a few seconds to update, but it is back to, it's in normal operation again, all right? And now, uh, you know, all of our steering wheel controls don't do anything to the display, so you can use that for your navigation system. Um, the only thing that would happen is if there was an alert, you could hit the back button, it would uh, mute, mute the sound coming from the radar detector temporarily so if, if it's going off you can just quiet that down and again you have the stock uh, option which just been added by ETX actually it's uh, back and right to just completely shut that off or we can turn it back on again alright so that's kind of the grand summary I gotta hardwire all this in over the weekend possibly um, you know, the CAN bus triple is awesome. I've been writing some code for it for this, obviously. I've had a great time. It works great. So thank you to ETX from Mazda Speed Forums. And I do have code for this up on my GitHub page. Uh, it's github.com slash thedukezip. That code maybe someday will be integrated into the CAN bus triple code. I don't know. We'll have to have a discussion with ETX about that. Uh, you can also find more technical information about how to interface with this device on my website, which is ph0.net. That's spelled out ph0.net. So check that out. And uh, I hope you enjoyed my little video. I'm hopefully going to post some more videos uh, with my dash cam here. Uh, you know, I'll aim it down towards the screen and uh, we'll see some of this, some action shots here. All right, thanks a lot.